Following the rejection by the Elections and Boundaries Department of over 8,000 signatures, which Oceana Belize acquired to prompt a referendum on offshore oil drilling in Belize, today the department called a news conference to explain its reasons for the rejections. Of the signatures that we reviewed, also a total of 12,113 were accepted. Um, this was 7.07% of the total number of registered voters. And this is also 60% of the total signatures that were reviewed. A total of 8,047 signatures were rejected, which makes up the other 40%. Um, signatures that were reviewed were rejected for reasons mainly. Um, some of them, majority of them, the signatures just didn't match the signature that we have on the record card. We also had those whereby um, thumbprints were used on the record cards, but yet on the petition we had signatures. We had a few very minimal that um, the persons didn't sign the petition any at all. The information was filled out, but no signature on it. We also had some that we noticed that the persons had different surnames. According to Chief Elections Officer Josephine Tamai, there were also instances where people signed more than once an offense for which they can be prosecuted. Deputy Chief Elections Officer Francisco Zuniga highlighted some of the discrepancies that they found with the names they rejected. Signature on the record uh, petition, signature on the record card. Here, the person plays an X on the our record card and the person signs on the petition forms. The person signs on the petition forms this way, and on our record card, the person signed this way. The person signs here on the petition, the person signs this way on the record card. And while some of the rejected signatures appeared to have the same style, Tamai said that they applied their best judgment I am no handwriting expert, and our officers at the department similarly were no handwriting experts. But what we did, we um, looked very closely at each and every, every single one of them. And as long as we could satisfy ourselves that, yes, the person, sometimes we even go um, to look at probably the age of the person. Because, you know, like you said, with age, sometimes the signatures vary a little, sometimes after a few years, you know, the hands start to tremble a little bit. We look at those things. So um, we use our best judgment for every single one. The over 8,000 names of the rejected signatures will be released to the public, says Tamai, but that amount represents about 40% of the total amount of persons who signed Oceana's petitions. The number of, quote, legitimate signatures does not amount to the 10% required by law to trigger a referendum. And when asked if her office was instructed to reject signatures, Tamai and the chief executive officer in the Ministry of the Public Service, Charles Gibson, denied. Marion Alley reporting for Love News.